This designated community me and my group has been assigned to has, as we found, to be a very large area. It, it starts from 7th Street to Broad and from Lombard to Vine. Uh, Vine being at the very entrance of the 76 Highway. And this would include many areas such as um, Washington Square Park and um, Jefferson Hospital in, in Chinatown. And uh, on top of this, we've, we've seen many types of uh, industrial differences uh, and, and economic difference, differences. You know, um, at, just looking at the area just outside Mary Howard Health Center, we see condominiums and professional workers walking around, you know, mainly doctors or nurses, and you also see smaller communities, boathouses, and particularly places like Chinatown where everything seems very uh, compact, you know, the houses are always together, and, and so it seems to really give off that impression of a very poorly industrialized community in that in that specific section in that community whereas you know, places like Jefferson Hospital has so the houses that we've been seeing around this community has a number of different varieties we've seen maybe some old ones some new ones some abandoned ones and one that was caught on fire maybe a decade or two ago and has been abandoned since and the general condition for these houses it seems like they're, they're they're fully functional, particularly the new ones, and and even for the old ones, it seems that they've uh, done a fair job in, uh, in renovations. And, um, as security, you know, but there's definitely people having bars over their windows and. And definitely uh, some kind of safety precaution in their houses um, and as far as trees and plants and gardens this is a very industrialized community there isn't much that we can expect from it but there were some trees planted on the sidewalks but and as for place, places where people can hang out, there's, you know, there's always Starbucks that's always in every corner of every block in every city. And uh, there's a large, different, a large number of chain restaurants, you know, there's, there's Potbelly, there's, there's bars, um, one being on uh, Locust Street, called the Locust, Locust Street Bar. Let's talk about the economic status of the area surrounding the Mary Howard Health Clinic. The area surrounding the Mary Howard Health Clinic is a very diverse one. There are areas with nice looking office buildings and men and women in their business suits and scrubs, you know, like the building we meet in every week. And then there's the shady looking alleyways with the huge smelling dumpsters and people you wouldn't necessarily want to bump into on a daily basis. You know, some who don't quite have all their marbles. For example, the first week that our group met, Jincy and I were standing on the corner. And some random guy who definitely was not all there noticed that Temple was written all over me and started telling me all about how great Temple is and how it's free and yeah, free. And if I wanted a sandwich for free, I should come see him at some place I'd never heard of before and ask for him. Not that I remember his name, but he said he'd take care of me because I go to Temple and do the whole smile and nod thing. Race and ethnicity are also extremely varied in this neighborhood. While more than half of the residents are Caucasian, there is also a large community of both Asian and Black residents. In addition, there is a small percentage of Hispanic, Latino, and American Indian residents in the area. 
For example, you have Jefferson University and Hospital, and you have Chinatown within blocks of each other. There are also multiple languages spoken in the area. There are the languages spoken in Chinatown, the language spoken by the Israelis running their restaurants, the language spoken by the Asians in their food trucks, and then you also have the diverse population that makes up Jefferson University and Hospital. To go along with all of the different races and ethnicities, there are also many different places of religion in the area. This is a map of the area surrounding the Mary Howard Health Center. The red markers shown are just a few examples of the multiple churches and synagogues in the neighborhood. These are some pictures of churches and synagogues in the area. On the top left, you have Old St. Joseph's Church. On the top right, the Old Pine Street Presbyterian. The bottom left is Congregation Mikva Israel. And the bottom right is St. George's United Methodist Church. And these are just a few examples. The area is so diverse and seems to cater to many different people. There is even a religious organization called Ekankar, and I might be pronouncing that wrong, located conveniently on North 4th Street for anyone interested in leaving the body in full consciousness and traveling freely in other planes of reality. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? <laughs> Regarding the politics, walking around the area, I didn't see any political campaign posters of any kind, nor did I see evidence of a predominant political party affiliation. Let's talk about transportation. As we all know, within the city of Philadelphia, we have the Southeastern Pennsylvania Transportation Authority, better known as SEPTA. SEPTA has bus routes that run 24 hours a day known as night owl bus routes. Service on most lines run from 5.30 a.m. to midnight. The fare is typically $2 on transit services, but tickets, tokens, and passes offer additional savings. Riders with disabilities can travel at discounted rates on all SEPTA services. I took a survey on SEPTA's website. The most traveled service is the regional rail lines that most of us use to get to Temple daily. Many people get around the city by other methods of transportation, such as cars. We see a lot of those, especially on the highways. Um, plenty of buses, because there's plenty of tours in Philadelphia. There's also trolleys, a lot of bikes, um, there are a lot of people on tours in Philadelphia, so they travel by horse-drawn carriages, and other people, um, once they reach their destination, they park somewhere, and then they tend to walk to the immediate area. The several types of transportation unfortunately cause noise disturbances due to traffic, and they pose a threat, um, especially to the pedestrians when crossing the streets, so extra caution is required. The streets are conducive to good transportation, but due to wear and tear, there is a ton of construction in the city. Around Mary Howard, the sidewalk is blocked off in order to do renovations and construction for Jefferson. Many of the corners at the intersections of streets are wheelchair accessible, in order for someone to go from the sidewalk to the road. In order to promote bicycling as a healthy and low-cost and environmentally friendly form of transportation and recreation, the Bicycle Coalition of Greater Philadelphia has a close tie with the Santa City um, called the Philadelphia Cycling Committee. They have allowed for the increase of bike lanes all around the city of Philadelphia. As Dan had mentioned earlier, there are major highways near the neighborhood such as 76, 676, 95, and Broad, which is also known as PA611, and this is a state road. Let's talk about health and social service centers. Social service centers um, within Philadelphia include the Pennsylvania Prison Society, the Mazzoni Center, Children's Service Inc., Philly Car Share, Susan G. Komen for the Cure, and St. John's Hospice, and the Mary Howard Clinic itself that include the social workers. As for recreation centers, there are not too many unless you have a membership like the doctors that are working in Jefferson Hospital. As soon as you walk out of MHC, you can see that Jeff and Penn Med overlap. Jefferson's Hospital of Neuroscience and Will's Eye Hospital are right next to each other. Therefore, around the area, there are plenty of doctor's offices. There are actually 327 medical offices located around MHC's area. As for parks and playgrounds, there is Washington Square, Rand House Square, and Franklin Square. Let's talk about stores. 
Many residents can shop at Trader Joe's, which is located conveniently on Market Street. They can use Superfresh or the Gallery at Market East. Some people use the foodery, and if anyone wants fresh produce, they might use Kaufman's Produce, and it's nearby as well. Many people will also shop at the local drugstores for their medications, such as CVS, and there is a Walgreens located right next to the gallery. Let's talk about community residents. It depends on the weather and the time of the day that regulate the flow of people around the city. On a rainy day, we might see a lot of people under umbrellas, or others who are staying inside dry. On a sunny day, there are tons of people on the sidewalks going into restaurants or hanging out at the parks. And of course, in spring, or as we see on our weekly commute to MHC, it's puppy season. Since the area is surrounded by hospitals, there is an increased security, especially around 2.30 to 4 p.m., when nearby schools are let out for the day. Sometimes in the alleys, there are some stray cats around dumpsters and some squirrels, just like temple squirrels. Many go dumpster diving, so watch out before you are faced with a myocardial infarction by a squirrel with a sense of humor. And next, we have Jess. Thanks.